Hey, what's up guys? This is Tom from Chalk5. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved here on the island. And as you can see, probably behind me, I've started to do a bit of work. I've got two campfires going here now. Um, I, let me just sort of explain like what's going on with my base right now. Uh, I think we made that last episode, didn't we? Um, yeah, I've put these here. So, <laughs> you might be like, what is going on? But, yeah, I've made some, like, ramps, I've made some standing torches. What I was trying to do is put some ceilings coming out from these foundations. These are all foundations all the way along here. And I was going to try and extend it by putting some more foundations here, but they wouldn't, they wouldn't, like, go down. They were, like, it was too high off the ground for them to, like, connect. So it wouldn't allow me to put any more here in line with these. However, I thought, well, I can build some ceilings out and they would kind of act as a floor, but there's kind of like a really annoying thing where if you put a ceiling next to this, it's slightly higher. So instead of being like level all the way along like that, the ceiling kind of sticks up a bit and you can like really tell that it's a ceiling there and not a floor foundation, which I, I didn't like. I tried it out, but I really didn't like it. There's a supply drop coming in over there. So unfortunately, we can't do that and I've got this like weird like one foundation here but I couldn't put another one here so never mind what I was thinking I'll do is probably build like a ramp here and then like section this part of the base off I don't know if I can put another foundation there maybe I, I don't think I tried that actually but yeah we can have like a ramp here and then I was thinking like when we get an anclo finally I can sort of like leave that open and then use the anclo to just basically walk up into the base and offload him you know, all the metal that's like in his back and just offload it into these uh, forges and we've got a little bit of metal in there. I didn't really collect any like metal off camera, I was... Yeah, I think I was mainly just doing the base like this and I've been doing something really cool. What I've been doing is getting this Therizine saw and if I tell you to follow me this is how I was sort of doing it. There is another way I'll show you here real quick. So, he's really fast. I set his... Um, oh! Oh, we're going to take a bit of damage there. Never mind. If I set his following to, like, low. But, yeah, as you can see, when you whisper follow, like this, I'll just show you again. He won't harvest this tree because he's, like, come on. Come here. Because <laughs> he's, like, oh, okay, he's gone past it. But, anyway, he won't harvest this tree because he's, like, busy following you or something. I, I don't really know. But, anyway, he won't do it. He doesn't want to do it. Even if you, like, stop and wait. Like, he could harvest these bushes right here, but he won't do it whilst... He's following you. So all you have to do is get him in spot and then tell him to stop. And is he going to do it? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Therizin? So you did it so many times yesterday. Anyway, let's just like... Oh, you can also tell him to like move like that to a certain spot. If he can get there. <laughs> His turning rate is just too terrible. Okay. Go there. Okay, see? Because he's not following me now, he will happily harvest away. And there you go. So that's one really cool way, guys. If you can't ride them, because like me, I think the sad unlocks like crazy high level. Um, like level 60 odd, I think. I'm not too sure. But anyway, so unfortunately I can't like ride him and use him like I would normally. So that's a really cool way to like get around it and do it. It's not cheating because it's still your dinosaur. In fact, you have to put like more work in. Um... So, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it. <laughs> it's just, like, it's part of how they do it. You could also just set them on, like, free roam. And that's all trash. Get rid of all that crap. And he would just naturally sort of wander around and collect stuff as he goes. The only problem with that is, like, you can't control him unless you build, like, a, a really big area and, like, fence it all in. He's just going to sort of wander off anywhere. And then you might lose him. Or, like, he might over-encumber himself with wood and then he'll stop walking around. Whereas this way, you can sort of manage how much wood he's got. He's got quite a bit. So, I don't think I'll be able to even carry all this wood. Oh, almost. So, I'm just going to, like, throw that in here, I think, for now. Pretty cool, though. Pretty cool thing to, like, try out if you want to if you want to do that. Or if you've got, like, a, a dino that you can... Like, you can't ride, but you can do that at least, so... 
And basically on PlayStation, you want to press L1. I'm not going to do it now because all my dinos will follow it. But you can set a taming group or something, which I haven't really done yet. And as you can see, this is why I've got loads of wood. Because I just kept doing that with the Therizine saw. And I need a really, I'm like dying of thirst over here. So I did make some water jars as well. I, I went quite far away, like over there. Um, and like found some crystals. Uh, there was a, like there was like a cave there, and I think it's going to be a cave with an artifact. I didn't have to go too deep. Luckily, there was like nothing spawned in there, so I basically found the closest crystals and then got the hell out of there. I went on my raptor, so I sort of leveled him up a bit, just killing a few like. Ah, I didn't really kill that much. Yeah, it was mainly like dodos and stuff, I guess. But it brought, I think he did level up at least once, twice, and I just left him outside the cave while I went in there. But like I said, I didn't get the artifact or anything. I'll do that on camera. And that's, that's assuming that there is an artifact in there. I'm pretty sure there is, because it was like a proper legit cave. But uh, yeah, I think like normally there'll be a lot of critters in there as well. So I didn't, I didn't dare risk it. I didn't dare go in as far as I could. But uh, I thought it'd be more interesting as well to like to actually have me film that as well. So I don't want you guys missing out. Um, other than that, I'm not really sure. I've been cooking away like crazy. That's why I'm like red hot next to these fires all the time. And I've just been burning thatch because I'm not really bothered. It's nothing to so worry about. On uh, I guess I could put that middle fire and then save on that. I mean, I could I could burn wood, I guess, but. Whatever. At least that, then I won't have like too much charcoal lying around. And as you can see, I've made loads of narcotics. I was going around on my trike over here, my level 15. She's a female one. But she's got like really good um, carry weight, stamina, all. All pretty good. And like I got a melee damage up just a bit more, just so it matches the male over there. But yeah, she's like better, even though she's a lower level. He's level 21. She's level 16, but she's got better better levels and stuff, so I've just been using her, really. Might swap to the mail, like, later on or whatever, but I'm not too fussed. Um, so, yeah, for this episode, I'm not really sure what to do. I did see... Oh! <laughs> I'm always scared of, like, jumping off. Oh, by the way, yeah, I, um, I started over here. And I'm not sure if this is really going to work. See, my plan was I'd build, like, some foundations here and then build out above the compost and I'd have my greenhouse, like, up here. So I'm not too sure how that's going to work because you can sort of, like, hear these disgusting compost over here. I don't know if you can hear that. Ugh, nasty. There's sort of flies hovering around it. I might still build off of this and have this as, like, my like greenhouse area because I do quite like how this is like going to go into here and then the greenhouse will be like in the trees that's going to be pretty cool and I'll I'll probably build like some stone foundations or something or like ceilings and then like have them on stone pillars something like that so it looks it looks nice it'll look nice and uh, man I'm hungry again what is going on just eat loads of cooked meat so that's my plan for that however because I keep getting thirsty let's just see did I Oh, have I unlocked anything new as well? I think I leveled up a couple of times. But, I, honestly, I can't remember. Oh, yes, I did! I did! We can make a sword and a um, metal sickle now. I already unlocked them because I was just like, I need them. So let's go make them. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to need. I know it's a ton of metal. Oh, we have got quite a bit, actually, though. So melee. Yeah, we can make the sickle. That's 18. Ooh. Ooh, that's quite expensive. Primitive. Oh, no, ranged. Yeah, we got the crossbow last episode. That's awesome. And yes, we can make the sword. It's 50. So we only need three more metal, and we can make the scythe as well. Uh, I guess, like, go harvest one of these. Uh, yeah, this one's not quite as metal rich. I'm sort of, like, saving the other metal. I mean, it's stupid. They'll, like, respawn soon. Or we can uh, start making the fertilizer soon. But I'm kind of saving these for, like, when we get an enclo. Which... I guess we could, like, start looking out for. We could ideally do with, like, vegetables and stuff before that, but I, uh, I don't think it'll really matter with with my, um, like, the, the settings that I've got for taming stuff. It's really quick. <laughs> but, like, to me, it's more fun, so I'm not, I'm not bothered. 
you might be like, ooh, it's cheating, but <laughs> hopefully you agree with it. So, oh yeah, I want to ask you guys a favor. Um, if you're watching this and, you know, you like this series and like my other series, uh, let me know in the comments below, like, oh my god, wow, am I thirsty already? Jeez. Oh yeah, the good thing about the water jar is you can drink from it twice. But anyway, yeah, let me know if you guys know of any other, like, series that either you enjoy watching from other people or series that you would like to see me in particular play. I mean, I, I don't know if that would really apply. It's probably the first one. But, I, yeah, I want to play some, like, more games. All I'm playing at the minute is Ark that specifically I'm recording. Like, I'm playing a few other games just, just for funsies. And that's, like... I'm trying to complete, like, Just Cause 3, like, 100% it. <laughs> I have this thing where, like, I, I have to, like, 100% games as best I can. Obviously, like, there's just quite a few. I, I just can't. I can't do it because I can't put the hours in and stuff. But, yeah, I do like to do that. So that's what I'm currently doing. But, I don't know. Just Cause 3, it's not really a game that I can, like, play. And it didn't make very good videos. Because, like, yeah, the graphics are sweet and stuff. But... It'd just be like me flying around, and I think that'd be quite boring. Whereas games like Ark, I'm actually like doing stuff, I'm collecting stuff, I'm taming dinosaurs and riding them around and stuff like that. So just do me a favor, leave a comment down below. Let me know what games you think I'd like to play. Uh, bear in mind that I've only got a PlayStation 4 right now. What am I doing? I'm trying to make this scythe. And yeah, unfortunately, like I can't play any games that are just on PC and stuff. I would love to get a game in PC. I've said this before in like my other my other series, but I, I, I just I can't do it. Like I don't have one and I I can't like justify spending the money on it right now. So <laughs> it's unfortunate, but um it's just the way it is, I'm afraid. So but if if like my channel did take off and that'll only happen by you guys getting involved, leaving comments, subscribing leaving likes, all that good stuff, if you want to do that, then I would look into it for sure. Because if people enjoy watching my videos, then I'm definitely going to stick to it and make more. It's a real sort of positive boost, you know, when people start getting involved. And it's just nice, like, when you get the notifications on YouTube and stuff. <laughs> I always like hearing what people say and stuff, so that's cool. Now we've got the sword. Oh, by the way, I should probably like, test this out just to like, show you guys how insane it is. So, let's just see. 28 fiber from one bush. Are you kidding me? 28 fiber. And 50, 60. And 80. And 135. And I've hardly cut down anything. 155. We can get to 200 like no bother. Look at that crazy, crazy amount. 230 right there. That was insane. That's why the, the scythe is so handy. Because, I mean, fire, you can get some good dinosaurs that... that will... collect... Ooh. That will collect fiber and stuff, but I think they're... I'd say, like... Oh, there's one of them little monkey things! I'd say they're a lot more, like, advanced, maybe? Because they're in, like, harder-to-get-to areas, so... Maybe, like, not yet. How do I tame one? I think they're a passive tame. Let's try this out. Oh, man, I'm going to pick berries again. <laughs> you kidding me? I should really, like, keep some berries on my raptor. In fact, yeah. Yeah, I could probably go do that right now. So, because uh, I'm not getting, like, any Miho berries. And my other dinosaurs have got absolutely tons of Miho berries. So, yeah, let's just go do that. I don't want, like... I think you scare him if he gets too close, but... That monkey chap would be really cool. I think because, and I'm just going from like other people's videos, I think because whenever you give them something to hold, it like halves the weight of it. So that would be super handy. Have you got any Miho berries? Try, uh, you've only got 12. That's trash. I'll just show you guys how good the trike is for berries. So good, it's crazy. And see all these bushes? Ba-boom. Gone. I mean, the trike's nothing compared to, like, the Bronto, I think, which is the best. Um, and the Stego's better as well, but this is way better than the, um, the Parasaur, which you have to, like, individually hit each bush. And it sucks. It takes ages. Especially, like, the turning so 
Did I just hit my own wood there? Probably did. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, the, the turning circle's really bad on the parasaur. But look at that. Look at how many... Oh, God. I don't want steam berries. But look at how many berries we got right there. It's crazy. And knocker berries. I wasn't even collecting knocker berries. <laughs> but I am going to put them in my pestle and mortar and then just craft them up. Because we need so many narcotics all the time. Just always need these. And we're getting a pretty good amount there. So, right, let's go back down. Where's my raptor? There you are. I love riding around on the raptor. It's nice because it's faster, but it can also jump. Oh, sorry. That always takes like four damage there. <laughs> so, yeah, you can just like jump over rocks and stuff. It's pretty good. So, I don't know if we're going to be able to see this monkey again. He's pretty like tiny. Where is he? He was here-ish. And... I'm just looking around. Is that him? Nope, it's just, it's just like the bush is moving. Ah, uh, he was heading like this direction. That's just my Velociraptor eating. Last time we heard him. He made that like monkey sound. But I'm not seeing him now. Although that might have been him then a second ago. Ah, uh, if you guys are probably like, you've probably seen him and you're probably like screaming out to me like, he's over there. But I cannot see him. He is tiny, like I said, so. And I can hear like footsteps, but. I cannot see him. <laughs> It's just like, tell you to follow me, because I don't want to walk away and then have to go back for you. But we need to be careful that we don't scare him away as well. If you get too close, he'll just run. Because he's like a little passive creature. Um. Well, I can't see him. <laughs> What's that down there? Oh, there's that Iguanodon. Oh my god, I just pulled out my sword. I thought it was on a drink. Uh, is it the Iguanodon? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god, level 47. Oh boy. Let's try and tame it. I've got plenty of Miho berries. I've literally like just tamed one on my on my other series. I hope that's not a spoiler. If it is, I'll cut it out. Oh jeez! Oh my god, Kano! Kano! Raptor kill it! Raptor kill it! Oh no, we need to get the sword out! No, okay. Oh no, 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 no! Oh no! Ah, I pressed the wrong button, I need to change that. I'm more used to getting the sword out on the bottom button. Okay. And, ooh, we need to run back down there. What should I do? I might, like, grab the Therizinosaur and just say, follow me, Hader. Because he's really, like, he's powerful as heck. He's, I mean, he's quite a low level. That Kana was, like, level 40, but come on, come on. And, in fact, I might ride my trike down there as well. <laughs> just, so, just so we've got a bit of a tank to, like, sit on. Let's go, quick. Trike is not the fastest crit in the world. But, I don't know. Hopefully my boss raptor can, like, hold it off. Oh, God, I'm so scared I'm going to get, like, a death message on the top of the screen. Come on, come on, come on. It was over here somewhere. And um, we need to kill it so it doesn't attack the Iguanodon as well. Because it will probably kill it. Oh, you're, like, you're low health. Right, follow me, you guys. Follow me. We need to kill. Oh, there he is. There he is. Are you alive? No. Okay, oh, I thought I just told it to attack that thing, but okay, you're alive as well. Nice, Dimorphodon's alive. Looks like you might have killed it and harvested its flesh. Oh, jeez, you're bloody as heck. <gasps> but you did, you killed it. Wow, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. Level 48 Raptor now. That's great. Okay, what's cracking off over here? Um. Oh, it's like one of them fighting it. Oh man, there's two of them. Oh wow, they're like wrecking a dimorphodon. Oh man, that one's bloody as heck. We could uh we could probably kill that one. <laughs> Savage. Savage as heck. Um what else is cracking off over here? Let's shoot this uh Oh god, I'm going in my stuff. <laughs> man, I'm just running away. Uh not ready to poop. Follow me guys, follow me. That's the is like up here, but I don't think so. They ate my flesh, whoever. <laughs> whoever killed him. 
And we can just get rid of this. Oh, no. Get rid of this trash. Put my armor back on. It's not very good armor, obviously, yet, but nice. Okay, we're back. We're back to it. Let's go see. Oh, jeez, I thought it was like the dead body right there. So, what level are you? You're level 47 female. Or ma no, male. Male. You're level 47 male. What was this one, then? What the hell level was that Dalophosaurus? If it was Dalophosaurus, if it was doing insane damage like that. Uh, I'm moving my raft a bit closer, though. That's, like, freaking out right there. Uh, we've got a moss chops here. Ah, it looks like we've got a lot of Dimorphodons. Uh, Dimorphodons, Dalophosaurus's. Up there, and a lot of Parasaurs. And level 64 female Pteranodon. Wow. That's not bad at all. Uh, what are you? You're Parasaur 28. Oh, there it is. There's the dead body. Could harvest the flesh, get some hide. Nice. Right. Shall we try and tame this? Hmm. I'm just sort of thinking, maybe... Maybe, like, where is everyone? <laughs> Alright, you're right behind me. Okay, good. Okay, and that's everyone, isn't it? Yeah, just three. You guys wait here, stay passive, and I can, like, get up on this rock, maybe. Oh! Okay, well, I can get up on the rock with the... Man, I'm out of water again. Let's just get that first. I can get up on the rock with the raptor. And then try and, like, knock it out. Because we have to knock it out and feed it berries. And again, this would be another cool tame if we can. Uh, when I was doing a bit of research, it says they're like a really good pack mule. And when they're running on all fours, they never lose stamina. Which is like, that's just craziness. So if if we're going a long way, and I don't know how fast they are, like, but I would imagine pretty fast. But if we're going a long way, that's what we need to do. We need to use one of these. And with it being level, whatever it was, level 45, it's behind a tree. Are you kidding me? Uh, there it is, I think. Is that it? Nope. <laughs> Missed right there. Where is it? That is it, isn't it? That's a male iguana on level 47. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Um, man, I really need to change them two around. One second. Just while I... No, I don't want to do that, but whatever. Just alter that. And it's just because, like, when I'm playing, I get used to, like, certain buttons to activate whatever, so... Oh! And there's a Trudon over there. I can see it. I don't know, get it. What? Yeah, that did. That did. That did. Hey, do oh, You can't come up here, surely. No, it looks okay. Let's get, like, I don't know, two in the head, and then leave it, because... Hitting the mid... Oh, he's down! Wow, that was really quick! He didn't even, like, try and run away. That's awesome. And can I get my arrows back, please? Oh, yeah, nice. Got three. And I'm stuck. Are you... Oh, man. Let me just ghost out of here, guys. This does happen a lot on Ark. And hopefully you don't mind me just cheating out. I'm genuinely stuck. I could not move. And you just do that. And type it back in as walk. In case any of you guys didn't know this. And there we go, I'm in command walk. There we go, nice. Uh, right, let's uh, put that away. Raptor, can you get down here now, please? And where are you guys? Behind this damn rock. I might need to tell them to kill that Trudon in a second, because them things are lethal. I don't really know how you tame them. And, oh, I've already got loads of meat berries on me. Oh, I can keep them then. Didn't even need to, like, get out of there. Could have just stayed. But whatever. So let's put them in. And then, oh god, he scared the hell out of me then, Raptor. <laughs> Jeez. And then we can just wait and see what happens. With this, you've got to level up. I might give you some more stamina. And I can leave that spoiled meat. Like, turn to spoiled meat. And I guess, like, put these up in your inventory as well. I might as well feed you that. <laughs> just get rid of it. Okay, nice. Let's see what's going on with this. So, oh wow, it's tame in. It's going to be plus 23 levels. Wow. Let's see what the stats are. Oh wow, it's going through some berries. Crazy as well. There were like 92 berries in there before or something. Crazy. 
Uh, these will change after it's tamed, but for right now, the weight's looking not bad. Health is meh. 750, that's not grand. 360 stamina. Stamina. Meh. That's like, meh, pretty average. 125 melee damage, not too bad. But uh, it's going to get plus 23 levels, so they're, they're going to change quite a bit. Right, I'm just going to wait here, guys. Wait for him to tame. And I'm probably just going to grab some more berries and put them in his inventory. No, because it doesn't matter with this guy. He can just collect some more real soon. And I'll see you guys here in a bit. Okay, guys, real quick. So I was just taming this Iguanodon here. Uh, this is the same one as before, and it is taming 63.8%, so it's not far off, and it's still... Oh, it's just gone up a bit more, and it's still got 98.6% taming effectiveness. We're going to get plus 23 levels on that. That's pretty good. Um, but right over here, there's that Trudon, so I just sent all these guys over here to murder it, and they did it. Absolutely no problem. Anyway, I was just here, like... I was just going to, like, get some more berries on my strike... And I saw the female Iguanodon, and as you can see, I knocked it out as well. So, this is the same Iguanodon that was here before, getting attacked by that Dilophosaurus, I think. And it's level 16 female. Now, I put some extra berries in this, so I've got, me got it on Miha berries, they're like the best berry. And yeah, we're going to get a second Iguanodon. So, you know, I thought they were like a couple before, so at least they're going like, to stay together and stuff now. Which is pretty nice. But also, more importantly, the fact that we can now breed these guys if we ever want, like, another Iguanodon critter as, like, a pack mule or anything like that. So that's going to be pretty cool. And what on earth was that? Okay, let's just whisper neutral to everybody. And I think it was a Dilophosaurus. Is just, yeah, he's going to, like, attack my trike. Are you kidding me? Okay. <laughs> God! Get away from here. I don't want, like, them guys running over here and, like, hitting my, um, hitting my Iguan down there, because that'll ruin the taming effectiveness, but this trike should handle this Dilophosaurus pretty well. He he's pretty powerful. I, I used him to kill something else. Yeah, no problem. And look how many berries and thatch and stuff he gets. Crazy. Crazy amount. Let's just harvest that tree. And now we can harvest its flesh. Nice. So... Yeah, so I just wanted to sort of update you guys, because, I don't know, it, this one looks like it's going to, like, pop up first, having been tamed. Uh, what level is Tyranodon? We need to, like, tame one of these real soon. Level 8? Nah, that's trash. Well, I want to get a decent level Tyranodon for when we start flying around. That's going to be so good. I can't wait. Um, so, yeah, I'll just, um... Oh! Oh! No, I won't! I was going to say I'll pause recording, but there we go! Wow! It was just in time to, like, see it. Wow, here we go. So, this is, like... Leave comments down below for either of these Guanodons if we do get them both. Uh, so we kind of like a, a grey with like a green line through them and like them little orange spots. That's pretty cool. So yeah, you can follow me. You can all follow me. In fact, everybody follow me. <laughs> and we'll just wait here for this female to tame real quick. And it looks like one more food and she's tamed as well. That's really good. They're going to be like Really cool. Look at how mint they are. Oh, and there we go. And now we got a female as well. That is awesome. Okay, guys. Well, uh, man, this episode's probably like gone on long enough now. Wow. The, oh, wow. They seem really fast. I'm not really. That's not really a good way to like test them out. In fact, let's get on the raptor and like see if they keep up. Uh, I know this Therizine is pretty quick. Uh, guys, can you all move, please? Just crawl back. He's going to run around because he's set to like low follow distance. But the raptor's pretty quick. So let's just see. Like how quick are they? Oh wow, they're like keeping up. Oh wow, look at that. So the Guanodons were just right there. And then the Therizine saw, I think he got trapped behind a tree. Which will probably happen because he's quite slow. Uh, not quite slow because he's quite big. Sorry. So, as you can see, my raptor's pretty fast. Iguanodon's right there. Therizinosaur was right there. And then look how slow the trike is in comparison. So that's really cool. We're getting a really good, like, pack of dinos tamed here. So we're pretty pleased with that. Oh, my God. Level 70. God. Therizinosaur, can you get out of the way? In fact, half that flesh. <laughs> nice. 
Uh, so right, Trank's level 16, the female is level 23, and they've got like, ma they're like mate boosted or whatever, which is cool, because we've got a male and a female. And he's level 70, that's crazy! Let's just see his stats real quick. A thousand health, that's more like it. Stamina 460, that's pretty good. Oxygen, food, they don't really count. Wait, 420, that's not bad. Melee damage 215, well that's gone up a lot, that's gone up by like 100% or whatever. I think, I think, I'm sure that was in like 125 before. And movement speed's just 100, so if that's their speed, like normally, then they are pretty, pretty fast critters. And I'm glad that we've got them as part of our pack. Uh, let's just get out of the way over here. Okay guys, so I'll probably leave it there then. They look awesome, and look at them like spikes on the feet. Man, I wonder if they'll like do some good damage. I don't know, I don't know. We're gonna have to like test them out. I don't know if we can even... Oops. Can we even make a saddle for them yet? Uh, where would it be? Trike saddle, so it'd be past that. Raptor saddle. Equus saddle, that's something to look into maybe. Um, scorpion saddle. Stego saddle, that's pretty cool. We could probably like get one of them now. Um, I'm not seeing it. Iguanodon saddle. Oh wow, we just unlocked it. All right, real quick, let's let's do that. Let's. Uh, have you got any hide on you? You haven't really got. What do I need for it? Saddles. I literally just looked and I forgot already. Uh, which one is it? Trike. Uh, Raptor. Man, it's the last one. Iguanodon. Right, so we got plenty of fire, but we just need some hide. He's got a little bit. And what else was it? Uh, wood. 15 wood. That's that's literally nothing to us. That is nothing. Okay, what about... Have you... This raptor, have you got any hide on you? You should have. He's got a bit. I don't know if that's enough. 45 hide. We just need 80. Yeah, we need 80. Okay, what if we kill this... Diplodocus, right here. What level is it? If it's in, nah, let's kill it. Let's kill it. Everybody, kill it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I got sent flying. And uh, let's see. They should do like some insane damage. All them guys together. Of course, he'll have a lot of health. But wow, look at it pushing them back. But it doesn't do any damage, so like it's an easy kill for them. Oh my god, it's going down. It's going down super fast. Oh man, it went down crazy. The raptors over there harvesting the flesh. I'm gonna get in here with a metal hatchet and get a bit as well. I hope you've got enough, Raptor. 33, wow. Yes, that is enough. That's really good. So, let's build this. And put it on our... Yeah, our male. So, I've got to remember, it's the male that's the higher level. Okay, that's done. Oop, a little bit of lag. A little bit of lag. And, yeah, put it on saddle. Oh my god, I've never ridden one of these before. <gasps> and I'm stuck. Are you kidding me? <laughs> there is Xenosaur. Everybody go over there. Go over there. There we go. Right. <laughs> oh my god, it's just like, it's crazy. <gasps> wow, so everybody stop following me. Just wait there a second. Wow! It's pretty quick! Can it like, no it can't jump? Can it stand? Oh, he's roaring! <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> uh, so, let's just, oh god, okay, finish having a poop. What's like, oh, that's up on two legs. Oh, wow, look at that. What's the benefit of that then? So, that I just press L2, and he does that. Huh. And he swipes, so he can only attack on two legs. Oh, and then you, but you can run whilst attacking, I'm guessing. Let's see, can you help us like that? Oh wow, yeah, oh wow! Oh, he's not bad! Look at him going! Oh my god, he's actually- oh my- Oh wow! He's actually really good! Okay. So, if I switch to four legs... He can still attack. Oh, but he goes up to two legs. Whereas this is just like running forever. Look in the top right. His stamina actually went up whilst he sprinted along. Are you kidding me? And it looks like... Ah, it looks like two people can probably ride this. Not that it matters. Because I'm on single player. But 
Wow, really good team, guys. Really pleased with this. Crazy level for like our first Iguanodon, and nice that we've got a second one too. So we can use them both as like pack mules and stuff. But honestly, man, when I go get like crystals again and I have to go like pretty far or anything like that, this is going to be great because he just doesn't run out of sprint. That's such a cool, such a cool creature. Oh man, I, I'm really liking this. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really liking this critter. So, there we go. i just put it on orbit camera so I can have a good look at him. Wow, he looks sweet. And there's our other diners back all there just watching on. That is amazing. Really pleased with this, guys. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'm going to end it right here. And uh, <laughs> that looks so good. And, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Leave a comment down below if you want to, like, name any of these critters or any of my existing creatures because I haven't named any of them yet. And I'm just sort of hoping some people get involved and start doing that with comments and stuff like that. Also, subscribe for future videos. Leave a like if you like this video. That just, you know, let me know. If it's, if it's any good, I guess. <laughs> or if any of my ARC series and videos are any good. I'd really appreciate it. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you again soon for some more ARC Survival Evolved here on the island. And you can't really see me, but bye bye I'm not going to wave. Bye-bye. <laughs>